A driver was delivering a load of steel beams to a job site. After positioning his flatbed truck as directed, he stood near the hydraulic crane that was offloading the truck to watch the operation. The company operating the crane had secured the area using vehicles and two strategically placed workers to keep out unauthorized personnel. However, no barricades were in place to stop workers from coming within the crane's swing radius. The driver was allowed to stay in the secured area because he was a friend and knew the operator. Before the unloading began, the driver moved closer to the crane, now within range of the crane's swing radius and out of the line of sight of the crane operator. Suddenly, the crane operator began moving the crane, positioning it for the offloading operation. Within seconds, the truck driver was crushed between the crane's counterweight and the right rear outrigger. He died later that day from serious injuries to his chest and internal organs. Let's look at the events leading up to this tragic incident and see how it could have been prevented. This worksite did not have the necessary controls in place to protect workers. The radius of the crane's superstructure was not barricaded and the flatbed driver was allowed to remain in what was supposed to be a secured area. Let's look again at the work area. Now a temporary barricade, including three inch caution tape, is in place to prevent workers from coming too close to the swing radius of the crane. In addition to the barriers, employers should make sure crane and or superstructure movement occurs only when an all clear signal is given to the operator. Now as the crane begins to move, no worker is within the swing radius and no contact occurs. This example shows the importance of employers following OSHA's standards to ensure that workers are provided with a safe workplace. These types of construction deaths are preventable. The protective measures shown here save workers' lives. Use these protections on the job. It could be the difference between life and death.